Tribes of Midgard is a <gasps> isometric open world survival base building tower defense ARPG roguelike battle royale taking place in a colorful Norse mythological world. That's a lot of genres. Released on July 27th, 2021 for PS4, PS5, and PC, Tribes of Midgard was developed by Norsefell Games Incorporated and published by Gearbox Publishing. Tribes of Midgard is meant to be played through in about one to three hours and uses a season pass style of overall progression. There's no real made up progression like other roguelikes, save for a few starter packs that aid with starting of each play session and cosmetic items. You start each game naked and are tasked with harvesting resources and gearing up your character by day and by night you're defending your village from the dark creatures. All the while you must complete objectives either solo or with a group to complete the saga. What it does right. The core gameplay is really solid. Combat, base building, crafting, and resource gathering are all really well done. The graphics are simplistic yet vibrant and the character design is great. Tribes of Midgard uses a cell shaded effect that other Gearbox games use, like the Borderlands series. Once I got it through my head that this wasn't a Viking Diablo and changed my playstyle, I enjoyed the fast and frantic pace that the game was designed around. The leveling system is more A and less RPG in the ARPG, but it is easy to navigate and lends itself to the quick playthroughs. Every run you start a new build and lets you try other classes and setups. What it does wrong. A few nitpicky things first off to a pretty well made game. Network and latency issues. When playing co-op there's sometimes a delay when harvesting materials or picking up loot. The UI needs a little refinement, especially on consoles. Navigating the numerous menus feels clunky and the highlighting over selected items needs to have more contrast. The playthroughs can take up to 3 hours, so when playing with others it might not be just a quick game. You can save and quit but you will just be coming back to a world that's either been beaten or completely overrun by monsters. If you plan on playing for a short while, solo will be your best bet for consistent progression. If you are a busy adult with kids and a job, sometimes finding the time to sit down and complete a full playthrough with 9 other people can be challenging. This isn't necessarily a bad thing for some, but I would like some sort of meta progression. Every game you play, you gain experience towards your overall season level that rewards cosmetic items, in-game currency, premium currency, and starter packs, but your character will never be any stronger than when you played last. My favorite part of roguelikes is the small increase in your character's strength with every run, and this game does not have that. The biggest fault of this game is the pretentious addition of the microtransaction store and a season pass. By implementing these features, it devalues a promising game into a glorified mobile game port. My opinion. Tribes of Midgard at its core is a really well made game with a lot of heart. It's dragged down by the decision to lock content behind premium currency and a season pass grind. Those types of things are implemented by game publishers when their titles are becoming stale and on the verge of death to reinvigorate their player base, or when a game has a huge established following and the developers are looking to maximize their players investment of time and money. Not when a game is first released and hasn't gained a huge following yet. If Tribes of Midgard was free to play, I'd completely understand these business decisions and would have never bought the game or gave it a second glance, but adding them to a paid title is greedy and delusional for the publishers to think that this is acceptable in this day and age. As much as I hate to say it, and I hope that I'm wrong, but I don't think Tribes of Midgard will last past the Season 3 unless some major changes are made. I give the game a 4 out of 10. I'd like to thank everybody for stopping by and checking out the video. It's a new format I'm trying out for people who want a quick bite-sized review of games maybe they're on the fence about or just generally interested in. My goal is to keep these videos as short as possible with just the essential information that people may need with no filler and fluff. If you like the video or you have any critiques, I'm always open to being better at these things. So definitely let me know down in the comment section. Of course, if you like the video, smash the like button and... Hit that subscribe if you want to see some more. Thanks, have a good day.